I'm at the Bartlett Nature Center in Bartlett, Illinois. Uh, this ride is a custom ride that I created last year. Uh, I wanted to ride on both sides of the river, so I looked using satellite view to connect up a variety of uh, longer and shorter trails to see if I could make a loop that crosses both sides of the Fox River. So I only had the opportunity to ride this ride once last year, so uh, it'll almost be uh, as if uh, I'm riding it for the first time because I have very little recollection of uh, what this ride actually looks like and some of these trails I've never been on before other than that one time. So the ride's about uh, 35 miles-ish. Uh, when we get back here, they have some trails here that are I, on the map, they're optional. So you uh, don't have to do that when you get here. And then I think it brings it down to like more of a 30 mile ride, slightly more. Uh, so uh, here we go. I have rides that start at the Bartlett Nature Center and then some rides that are also like the halfway turnaround point that make it to the Bartlett Nature Center. Though every time we visited last year, it was closed due to COVID. So today is actually the first time I've been here uh, where it's been open. So uh, if they're open, you have access to air conditioning and vending and bathrooms, drinking fountains, that kind of stuff. So we're at a bike route roundabout. Uh, it's a major intersection between trails. If we continue uh, straight this way towards Route 25, we'll make our way back to uh, the Fox River Trail. If we go this way, we're gonna be on the Elgin branch of the Illinois Prairie Path, uh, heading south. If I remember correctly, one of the other rides that I have that starts back at the Bartlett Nature Center uh, will go this way towards the uh, Illinois Prairie Path. I believe that's my windmill loop that'll take you down to Fabian Windmill. Uh, the Fabian Windmill, I believe, is in Geneva, Illinois. Uh, we're actually gonna pass right by it on this ride, but we're, it's a totally different loop. So one of the advantages of starting here, especially if you use my West River loop, is you have access to at least two large 30 mile-ish plus loops. So I just came from this way. That's where uh, the roundabout was. But this is another trail intersection here. Uh, you can access the Fox River Trail by going this way. If your intent, I guess, would be to head north because you can also access the Fox River Trail this way if your intent would be to go south. So uh, they have a good signage here uh, showing that you can go back to the state park. Uh, the Bartlett, I should point out, the Bartlett Nature Center is part of the James Pate Phillips State Park. So I think the Bartlett Nature Center is just the building, uh, but the entire park is this James Pate Phillips State Park. We're on the Stearns Road Bridge. Uh, we're looking south here. This is the Fox River. This is looking north. So it's another one of those cases where you meet the nicest people on bike trails. Uh, just spoke to an older couple. Uh, the lady had a giant, I think the brand name was Giant, e-bike with a Yamaha mid-drive motor. Uh, she said that she used to ride these trails all the time and now she has some heart condition and uh, it's one of her passions in life so the only thing that keeps her going is the fact that uh, she's got herself an e-bike. So this year compared to last year, I'm seeing way more people on e-bikes. So I've only been on 2.1 miles and I've seen like six people on e-bikes. So far they're uh, all older, I mean they're older than me so they're like in their 50s and 60s. That's the bridge we just crossed, so you can get a look at that. It's pretty cool looking. So we're, uh, this is the Fox River Trail. 
Uh, this is mile marker 15. Uh, this trail continues all the way down to um, mile marker 38.5 in Oswego, Illinois. Uh, it's paved almost the entire way. Uh, this trail is awesome. If you are in Northern Illinois and you have not ridden the Fox River Trail, uh, you got to get your butts out here uh, because this is one of the finest trails that Northern Illinois has to offer. All right, so this is a trail intersection here. If we were to continue forward, we'd be heading uh, south on the Fox River Trail, uh, but we are going to be turning right here on River Bend Trail. And uh, as we make our way around this loop, we're gonna come right back up this way and pass right by and then head back this way. So this is the River Bend Trail. Just past the intersection with the Fox River Trail. At this point on the Fox River Trail, the, they cross the river. And uh, we are not going to cross the river just yet. I'll right, just give you an idea as to where we are here. So we started over here. Uh, at the state park and now we're going to venture this way and then go on the west side of the river and then come back through and make our way pretty much to where we just were by that trail intersection and then back to the car. I don't know what the name of this park is uh, but they have plenty of shady spots to eat. Uh, they also have a, uh, a restroom and uh, I don't see any other amenities here. Obviously garbage cans, that kind of stuff. I don't see any drinking fountains. So about four miles into the ride, you'll be treated by a uh, little small waterfall. So I'm on the bridge uh, over the intersection of Randall Road and Silver Glen Road. Uh, it's at this point where we get off of this trail and jump on the Randall Road Trail, where you can see uh, down that way. And then uh, we're gonna be heading south from there.
This is the Randall Road Trail. Uh, we're gonna be riding south down here and then eventually we're gonna branch off to the right somewhere. Uh, just about nine miles in, uh, looks like 8.9 miles in, uh, we run across another park just after that cool bridge, that downhill bridge that we just did on uh, Randall Road. They have a restroom here and uh, shady places to eat, uh, garbage can, uh, that kind of stuff. Since we're in the shade here, hopefully we'll be able to see. So uh, we're up here where the blue dot is. Uh, this long stretch right here is what we just did on Randall Road, and then we're going to be cutting through some stuff and making our way back here. Uh, right uh, through Geneva, where the Fabian Windmill is, and then through St. Charles, making our way back up to here and then back to the State Park. One of the very cool things about this area is how well uh, their bike paths are interconnected. So you have an endless amount of choice here. Uh, if you were to go this way, uh, this is the direction we came from, uh, if you work your way back down through that River Bend Trail all the way to the uh, Fox River Trail, at that point you can go south all the way down to Oswego, or you can go north, uh, then it changes to the Prairie Trail. Uh, in McHenry County. You could take that all the way up to Wisconsin. You also have access to the Illinois Prairie Path, uh, which you could take all the way down, I believe it's down to Maywood or Forest Park. Uh, so you have a tremendous amount of choice uh, that's all connected together by a series of, uh, a network I should say, of bike paths. So we hit the Great Western Trail about 9.8 miles into this ride. And uh, if you watch the other video, you're familiar with this because this is exactly the same way we took to Sycamore. Uh, we're only going to be on this trail uh, for a little bit and then we're going to be pulling off onto a trail that's next to, I think it's Peck Road. Uh, I don't know if the trail's actually named, so otherwise it's the Peck Road Trail to me. So uh, this is the bridge we just came off of. Going back this way is the Great Western Trail. And then it starts over here in St. Charles where we just were. And then we're gonna take this little trail down to here on Peck Road. two miles into the ride uh, we're at the community gardens at prairie green once you get here you get off the of peck road and go all the way through these trails So while riding the ride, I decided to actually alter the ride slightly. Uh, I'm gonna cut it out, but originally I went uh, down this way. But uh, looking at what another biker did, I was able to find a different way where I could go around uh, the Kane County Animal Control. So uh, I'm gonna adjust the ride on all trails to include this new route. But this is definitely the way to go. Either way you get a hill, but this way it's more scenic. So 
So at about 15.5 miles into the ride, uh, you'll run across this section with a scenic overlook. When I went through this ride, uh, the one time I did it last year, uh, this whole area that I'm at right now was under construction. It was brand new. I remember wishing that there was a shaded spot to sit, but this is elevated uh, higher than the area. So you can see the path way down there. Uh, you can see that big structure, that barn looking like structure. I don't remember, Peck Farm maybe is what it's called. You got a neighborhood right here. Okay, well, now we're back to the Fox River Trail. Uh, looks like we're at mile marker 24. Uh, we're gonna be heading north this way, uh, but the trail continues south this way, all the way down to Oswego, Illinois. So that would be about another 14-ish miles from this point. I wasn't aware of it, but it looks like there is a name for that trail we took on uh, Fabian Parkway. So it's called the West Fabian Parkway Trail. So, so to put it in perspective for you, we're down here. This is the Fox River Trail. We're gonna come up all the way up. We're gonna cross this island. Well, it's actually, it cuts across this way now, straight across with a new bridge. The causeway is gone. So then we're gonna cut across uh, the windmills right up here, and then we're gonna make our way all the way back up here, and then off map. Uh, this is our current location. We're basically the very southeast por portion and we're going to make our way up through St. Charles back up and then onto this area that we already rode. And then we're going to do the trails at that state park. That's only, I don't know, somewhere between three and four miles maybe. And then we're done. Uh, we're 20.9 miles into the ride right now. Japanese gardens over here. Check out the island since we're here. You can see the windmill. We're gonna go right up to it.
This is the Fabian Windmill in Geneva, Illinois, right off of the Fox River. This uh, location is one of the spots that I would frequent on my motorcycle. Uh, I would create a big loop similar to this, except many miles more. And uh, this would be one of the places that I would stop, right at the Fabian Windmill. In all that time, I don't recall the uh, windmill actually facing the direction that it is. Usually it's facing the water. I wonder if they recently had a day where they turned it back on. Down the hill this way, there's a covered uh, picnic tables, there's a restroom. I think there might be a drinking fountain. There's uh, plenty of tables, places to barbecue. Uh, it's just a good location. It's beautiful. It might not look like much, but uh, this is a major uh, trail intersection. If we go up this way, uh, we're on the Illinois Prairie Path again, which gives you the ability to go to Villa Park, I think all the way down to Maywood. So this is the Fox River Trail, the direction we just came from. That's where you would head if you're going to the windmill. Uh, we're gonna be headed down in this direction, back north to where we parked. Take a moment to recognize Old Glory, waving in the breeze as she should. The fox on the Fox River uh, is one of my favorite things on the uh, Fox River Trail here. Uh, he's made completely of bike parts.
All right, well, I am back at the trail intersection between the Fox River Trail and the River Bend Trail. At the beginning of this ride, we veered off this way, and then we just came down the big hill and the big bridge, and we're continuing down uh, north on the Fox River Trail. So the rest of this loop isn't a loop, actually. Uh, so the loop part is done. Now we're just backtracking back to the James Tate Phillips State Park, uh, the Bartlett Nature Center. So we're back at the uh, Bartlett Nature Center, the James Pate Phillips State Park. Uh, but rather than just pack everything up, uh, this state park has some trails. I don't, I'll put on the screen exactly how many miles it is. I don't remember offhand. It's not very many, like four. 